Hi. What can I do for you, handsome? Hey, your face is all bruised. You been in a car accident or something? Let's just say my new job takes its toll. I run into a lot of angry people. Wait a second. I recognize you. Are you... Please, I... I don't want to hear my name tonight. I just need something to make me forget this day. I might have just what you need. A cocktail of mine. It does wonders. I feel better already. Call me Mariah. I'm off in an hour. Searches and he's gaining on us. Five days have passed since the Joker took Alina, and there's still no trace of them. Jester Kid and his Joker fan club biker gang may no, must know something. What do you want from us? We didn't do anything, just had a few beers, that's all. If you wanted to hear something funny, you could've just asked, Bats. You didn't need to wipe out my gang to- ah! Where is the Joker? I don't know! I don't work for him anymore! Got my own gang now- ah! Give me something! I don't know! Stop! Please! Ah! Ah! Damn. Where are you hiding, you maniac? What did you do with Alina? What sick game are you trying to play with her life? sushi for us. It's like Mononoff, you ignoramus. Whatever, come play with me instead. Okay, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings, but you can play your beef stroganoff later. It's getting cold over here. Hello? Put in! You can't leave me like this! Put in! Brought you some sushi. We got plenty. You remind me of a little dog I saw in a cartoon. He has the same sad look on his face. His name is Droopy. If you want to make fun of me, go on. I don't care. I'm depressed enough as it is. I'm not making fun of you. You just look weird. Why are you wearing this stupid costume? Boss makes me wear it. Amuses him. I hate it. Makes me want to throw myself in front of a train. Everything does, actually. I tried drowning myself once. Didn't work. Too good of a swimmer. I don't do pills or wrist cutting, any of that goth girl stuff. I tried to suffocate myself four times, but there was always someone there to stop me. Pisses me off. Jumped two times from a building. Broke both of my bones, but never my neck. One year ago, I shot a bullet into my head. It's still in here. I don't understand. I'm suicidal. I'm just not very good at it. Now you want the sushi or what? Have it yourself, you sad little clown. I don't want any food. I want to go home. This is bad.
You were right, Mariah. I am a jerk. I am sorry for what happened to you and your daughter. I could have prevented it. I want you to know that I will do anything in my power to save Alina. She can't hear you, Mr. Wayne. She probably never will. I'm sorry, but it's bad. Is she a relative? No, not really. Do whatever you need to save her, Doctor. I'll cover all the costs. Well, that's Bruce Wayne! Mr. Oh, Wayne! Mr. Wayne. Mr. Wayne. <laughs> Mr. Wayne! This terrible accident turns out to be very convenient for you. What do you say to that, Mr. Wayne? You rich guys think you're above the law, don't you? There's a rumor that you hired this maniac to make the girl disappear! Please, Mr. Wayne will be happy to answer all of your questions at the press conference this- The hell I will! Get me out of here, Alfred. Repent, Mr. Wayne. Repent. I'm teasing Mr. Wayne. Just teasing Mr. Wayne. Hey, you. Wait a minute. Is feeling a party again. I knew right away you were trouble. I, I want to go home to my mom. Let me go, please. Boo hoo, baby girl. You better stop that before I get all emo and mess up my mascara. I'm not a baby. Good, because I'm no babysitter. Believe me, there's nothing I'd rather do than make you go away. And he had to bring you here on my birthday? I don't know, he needs you. But I'm guessing you're part of his big strategic plan, which means you're important. I'm sure he has it all figured out because he's a freaking genius. Ow! That hurt, you little monkey. Let's get something straight. Stay away from Mr. J. He's mine. Stop charming him with your big doe eyes. No damn Stockholm Syndrome crap allowed, okay? You mean Lima Syndrome. What? It's when the kidnapper falls in love with the hostage. It's the opposite of Stockholm Syndrome. You're too smart for your own good, you little brat. Just leave him alone, or... You won't have any eyes! Now let's get you back to the cellar before I do something that makes Mr. J really mad. Sir, you haven't, you haven't touched, touched the dinner I prepared. I made it after a recipe by the famous French chef Barjese. Thanks, Alfred. But I'm not hungry. I'll heat it up later. Warm up the lobster. Are you trying to torture me, sir? What is the connection between this lunatic and the girl, Alfred? He hasn't made any statements or demands. He knows her mother can't pay a ransom. That may be about to change. This was in the mail. There's just one bar to consider. The bar where Mariah worked, nine years ago. Boy, is it hot in here. Or is it just you, handsome? You look tense, Brucey. One might think you're not happy to see me. I'm not, but I'd be happy to slam your head on that counter. Don't be such a drama queen. Relax. This is just business. Nothing personal, eh? Hi. My name is Cindy. What, what can I bring you guys? We're all set, Cindy, dear. Now take your fat ass for a hike, please. <gasps> Boy, this wig's killing me. We wouldn't jump that one, eh, Brucey? Well, maybe I would. <laughs> uh, but Harley's so freaking jealous. Heard you're quite the devil yourself, Brucey. Seems you passed to the dark side a long time ago. So tell me, where was the crime scene? 
Where did you and the mother get into it? Behind that counter? In the little boy's room? Or... Where is the girl? I see. No time for chit-chat. You big shots. Always in a hurry to get down to business. Ooh, here's your little princess. Didn't harm a single hair. Yet. What do you want? Just a favor. A tiny one. After that, you can have her back. Or, if you prefer, I'll make her disappear forever. Price is the same. <laughs> what if I don't care? What if I just snap your filthy oh. neck here and now? Good, Good dies. Two. Was is everything okay? <laughs> but you do care. I see it. <laughs> In your eyes, you remind me of a friend. <laughs> Boss, should I shoot her or what? Hello? <coughs> Hold on, shorty. Man, <coughs> you working out? What do you want for her? Like I said, just a little favor. Listen carefully, pussy. Tomorrow at Bernie's, they're auctioning off the Blue Cat Diamond. They say it's worth $50 million. A minuscule sum for a guy on your level. I want you to buy that diamond and bring it to me. I'll tell you where, once I have the stone. Want to say goodbye to your daddy before I leave, little princess? He is not my dad. He's mean, just like you are. Alina, listen. Ooh, she didn't mean that. She's one of a kind, eh? You can be proud of her, Brucie. Keep the phone. Our little video chat has been recorded. I'm a sentimental guy, like you. Oh, before I leave... Drink up. Just a tranquilizer to prevent you from following me. Go to hell. Drink, or she dies. Good boy. I'm a little dizzy already, but maybe I lied. Maybe it's a deadly poison. <laughs> <laughs> he drugged you. Uh, I drugged myself, actually. I beg your pardon, sir. Never mind. Thanks for picking me up. I found this in the alley next to the bar. We lost him. What if the drug had been lethal? He's holding all the cards. If he really wants this diamond, I'm no good to him dead. Still, it was quite the risk. Let's just hope there are no lingering effects and that all he gave you was a, a healthy power nap, sir. Lot number six is the magnificent Blue Cat, a gem of 45 carats cut from the Bleu de France, a blue diamond from the French crown. This exceptional stone belonged to the deceased Egyptian princess, Farah Amar. I hope you know what you're doing, Master Bruce. And 50 million to start this, 51 million, 52 million in the room, 53 million, at 53 million, 54 million, Mr. Wayne's bid here. Great. Selena's here. She means trouble. Last thing you need now, sir. Thanks for the enlightenment, Alfred. Oh, it's so beautiful. You want it? I'll get it for you. For reals? Watch me. Hello? Yes, the Joker here. Listen, pal. My offer is 60 million for that bloody stone. Puddin, wait! We don't have 60 mil- I was joking, stupid! Oh. 
56 million new bidder now. Come on, Brucey boy. It's all up to you, buddy. I don't get it. 56 million over here, 58 million, 59 million in the room, ladies and gentlemen. 61 million, 62 million. We are at 63 million now, 64 million. 65 million dollars over here, 65 million, 65 million fair warning, I'm selling at 65 million dollars, last chance. Master Bruce. So, the blue cat goes for 65 million dollars to Sheikh Ibrahim Al-Fayoumi, congratulations. Brucey! What did you just do? Damn. What happened, sir? It's Selena. She's up to something. Right, sir. I'm fine. There's chaos, but nobody seems harmed. Selena couldn't sit still. She left with the diamond. Oh no, the blue cat has been stolen! What the hell? No! This is what happens when you work with amateurs! I need to make a call, Harley. Bring me the phone. This one? Sorry, sir, but... Didn't I tell you this woman was no good? About a thousand times. Well then, good luck at Chasseur la Femme, sir. Hmm. <sighs> My precious. You can't keep it. I need it. You sure need something. I don't have time to play, Selena. I need this diamond, now. The Joker. He has the girl and he wants me to- Shh. Oh. Sorry, Bruce, but I have to run. Selena, wait! You don't under- Master Bruce, I have Joker on the other line. <laughs> Ben, timing, Alfred. Ugh. Tell him to hold on. Chit chatting with your butler? Now? Don't you know it's rude to talk on the phone when you're on a date? Selena! You better <clears throat> remember I'm the cat and you're the mouse, or more like a flying rat. What? The gem! Bastard! I'll explain later, Selena. Alfred, put the Joker through. Brucey, it's bad manners to keep a friend waiting. You forced me to blow off your daughter's head. No, wait. I have your diamond. You stole it? <laughs> You're full of surprises, bad boy. Joker. Yes, darling? If you hurt her, I'll rip your goddamn head off. Whoa! You're showing real paternal feelings, Wayne. Hurry up, Daddy. You've got 30 minutes. You hear me? One half hour. Then, I'll shoot her. Why are you leaving? You usually enjoy chasing me. What is wrong with you? Come to the wet. Got that? Where? Joker. Help. Joker. Sir, the call is not traceable. We lost him. You got the address? Hello? Mother Shrimp! Get in here! Where the hell are you? I'm here, boss. <laughs> Did it, don't do that again, Fungi! Ever! Phone's broke! Bring me another! That was the last one, boss. I need to kill somebody to calm down. Say hello to your friends in Lilliput Heaven. Go ahead. 
But first I need to tell you something before I forget. They're here. What are you talking about? Who's here? The men you asked me to recruit. Your new crew. What now, sir? Let's take another look at the video from Joker's phone. There. Zoom in on those barrels in the back. There's something on the left one. I don't see anything, sir, and we're running out of time. You're not helping, Alfred. It's pretty scratched up. We can't read it. But the computer can. It has to be the abandoned Wayne Power Station, sir. Yes. The maniac has been holding Alina right under my nose. You've only got seven minutes left, Master Bruce. Here are the guys, boss. All skilled mercenaries from around the globe. Well, well. You're all tough guys, eh? We're money, clown face. Don't worry. You work for me now. I'm a giver. All about friends and family. You get paid at the end of the month. No. Money forced. Now. Mighty tiny. Where did you find these cosplayers? At the zoo? I can't work like this. Okay, okay, you big ape. Money is in my pocket. Help yourself. <laughs> Stop tickling me. What? This joke? You laugh at me? <laughs> no, but you will laugh. <laughs> you dead. He dead. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Oh my, I think you got the wrong pocket, buddy. <laughs> now that we've been properly introduced, let's get down to business. If this guy shows up, bring him to me alive. You may shoot him later. And if this one shows up, you may shoot him first. Questions? Good. Then go secure the perimeter with your big guns. Or whatever you guys need to do. And Pygmy, get them some nice masks. I can't stand their ugly faces. Pardon? You promised me a birthday present. Instead, you got a bunch of toy soldiers for yourself. Not cool. Your present should be here any minute now. Cool! Is that what I think it is? Is it? If Wayne cares about his reputation or the girl... By the way, the surveillance monitor in the cellar went black. What? Why did you do that, you cheeky little minx? That was a gift. I don't like clowns. Everybody likes clowns. I don't. They don't make me laugh. I can arrange that. I could put a tiny little smile on your tiny little face with my tiny little razor. You're evil. Yup. So? People will hate you if you hurt a little girl like me. So what? They hate me already. Batman will be mad at you. Yes? So what? He will hurt you very much. I just wanted you to know that before you do something stupid. Hmm. Funny. When I was a child, I was quite like you, you know. You were a girl? Yeah! <laughs> so, you're even making the jokes now. Got to tell you about my golden rule sometime. No, as a child, I was always standing my ground against bigger guys. Like you. Your enemies define you, princess. The greater they are, the better it feels when you beat them. Remember that, honey, and you're gonna do just fine. And that purple thing you've got on your face, wear it with pride. I dig the color, by the way. I will. 
And when I'm big, I want to join the police and chase bad people like you. Well, I'm sorry to ruin your future plans, my dear, but time's up, and your daddy hasn't shown up yet. Thermal shows 15 heavily armed hostiles. He appears to have acquired a new crew. No signs of the Joker, or the girl. You're late, sir. I know. There's no time to infiltrate this place. Alfred, I need you to take over. My pleasure. Just let me get some popcorn for this. Alfred. A poor attempt to lighten the mood, sir. What's that sound? Guys, something's coming! Fast! I'm afraid sticky fog and tasers are very efficient against these gentlemen. Time to bring out the big guns. Just aim low, Alfred. Seems like there's a party going on. So why has Bruce bought my diamond here? Suck on this, bats! Yeah, got him! Nobody's in the car! How's that possible? Look out! He must be here somewhere! Sorry, sir, but I've lost control of the Batmobile. I guess you are on your own now. Aim low, sir. I will. Charming came to save me. Oh, I hate when you act like a typical child. Looks like he's winning, boss. Let's see about that. Sir, are you there? Sir. <coughs> uh, I'm here. Few bones broken. Some bullets went through the Kevlar. <coughs> Need a new suit. Have to find the Joker. Be careful. He could still talk. <laughs> find a weak spot in your not so shiny armor. Oh no! That's for hurting the new guys. A lousy bunch, I admit. Now, I hope you're Wayne's errand boy and that you've brought me a certain diamond because time's up, Batsy. You're damn right it is. <laughs> I know that grip. Game's over, punk. In front of her? You animal. Don't look, sweetie. This will traumatize you forever. Elena. Batman behind you! Let go of my pudding, you brute. Oh. My girl. <laughs> Let's see if he brought you the gift. Frisk him. My pleasure. I hate your guts, Bat, but I dig your bat butt. Got it! Happy birthday, honey! It's wonderful! I love ya, I love ya, I love ya! I know, darling, I know. Ugh. Joker, you got what you wanted. Let the girl go now. The girl? Right. Well, 
Me and Wayne, we had a deal. I can overlook the fact that Brucey didn't bring the gem himself. But you, you arrived two minutes too late. See, I've got a reputation to defend. Can't let your tardiness go unpunished. You played with her life and lost. It was a pleasure to have met you, little princess. Gonna miss ya. No, wait! Puddin, we agreed not to kill any kids. We can do fathers and mothers, uncles or cats, but no grannies and no kids. That was just for show, dummy, to make him suffer. You spoiled it! Whoops! <laughs> Sorry, it looked so real. I'm getting a headache here. You've become an annoyance, darling. You're never happy with anything. Always arguing. What about us? Did we agree not to kill each other? If you pull that trigger, then it's over between us. Ah! Hey, give that back. You're too trashy to wear this beauty. You again, damn cat burglar. Give me my gem, or I'll really give you a spanking. This diamond is mine. It's called the Blue Cat. Are you too dense to get the symbolism? Oh crap. I got just one more bullet left. Need to use it wisely. Means the last one is for you, Prince Charming. At least this tale will have a happy ending, eh? See you around, bats. Ouch! What the hell? It was in your pocket. You little monster! Th that's poison! I'll die within two minutes! If I don't take the antidote... The antidote! W -w Where the hell did I put it? You mean this? Th this isn't funny anymore, princess. G -g Give me that vial. Please. You wanted to kill me. That was just for show to tease bats. I would never hurt a cute little thing like you. Now, but please give me that ant- You hurt my mother. No, no, no! No! Joker, stop! He's gone. Did that just happen? <laughs> The Joker, outsmarted by a child. You realize that she just did what you never had the guts to do. It would be better for her if this stays between us. When I grow up, I'm gonna join the police and hunt criminals. Speak of the devil. You did good for a start, sweetie. You got your own style. I'd love to stay and chat with you guys, but this roof is getting too hot for this cat. Catwoman. Yes, my love? The diamond. Catch me if you can. But I think you have better things to do right now. We'll catch you later. You're bleeding. It's just a scratch. I knew you would come. I'm happy you're here. Me too. I want to see Mom. I'll bring you to her. I don't like clowns. <coughs> Me neither. Doctors say that Mom may never wake up again. She will. In the meantime, you can stay with me. Maybe you can kiss her awake like in Sleeping Beauty. 
I... I wish it were so simple. Here. I believe this belongs to you. Alfred fixed it. My good luck charm! Thank you! I'll show it to Mom. I'm glad to see the girl is safe and unharmed. I heard you adopted her. Congratulations. You're a father now. Party time is over, son. Welcome to reality. It's crazy what the child has gone through. She looks fragile. She's not. Watch out, Commissioner. She's going to go after your job someday. Oh, really? Any news on the Joker? We dredged the river. There's no trace of his body. He could still be out there, I'm afraid. We rounded up that new gang of his. All except Harley Quinn and a little fella named Archie. They disappeared too. He's still out there. I can feel it. Still, I would advise you not to open it. Perhaps you should call... Thank you, Alfred. I'd like to be alone now. So he is still alive. Still out there. And he knows. What's that? Oh, nothing. A mistake. They delivered it to the wrong house. I can't sleep. Can you tell me a story? Sure. What would you like to hear? A Batman tale. I need something to cheer me up. Sorry, but we're closing. It's past midnight. Come back tomorrow. Guess what? Just saw a giant bat running around the streets. The guy must be a real nutcase to dress up like that. Didn't you hear me? I'm closing up, handsome. Then how about one for the road? Yeah, so Harley and me, we got away. Kind of. Now she says she wants to team up with me. Says I got what it takes to be Gotham's next crime boss. Really? She's all over me about it. Won't leave me alone. What a pain. Trying to coach me and stuff. Says she wants to make an even more ridiculous costume for me. But what bothers me the most is her crying all the time and wanting to hold my hand when she does. Says she misses her Mr. J a lot. Who needs this crap? I hope Joker survived and comes back to her. Too much more of this, and I'm gonna throw myself off of the Wayne Tower.
We're not so different, you and I. Admit it, Bats. We're two of a kind. Uh-huh. <laughs> 